Hi, welcome. Okay, I want to show you something. So this is my office slash our games room, but if we come out this door here, this is our porch. Well, like our patio slash our deck slash our porch, depending on what you call it, but basically we've done nothing to it since we moved in and summer is here and I want to be able to use it. So I think it's about time for a makeover. If that sounds like something you'd be down for, hit that subscribe button and we'll get started. Oh, and a huge thank you to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to the series where I challenge myself to use thrifted materials and a love of all things retro to DIY our family home from this farmhouse to that 70s house. Okay, let's talk about a few things. So first of all, you should know, this deck is not in the greatest condition. Ah, probably shouldn't even be showing you that one. So in a few years, we are probably gonna have to take this down and totally rebuild it. That's not today, that's not even this summer. So for now, we're gonna worry purely about the aesthetics of making this place pretty and less about like really redoing the foundation of it. It's also a very long, skinny area. So I think we're gonna have to get a little creative on the layout. So now let's talk about what I want this space to actually be. I would love to have a space where on nice days I can come outside and work and bonus points if that can also double as like some sort of dining table. I would also love if we could have like a separate seating area where we could come out here at night and kind of just enjoy the stars because they're nice up here. And lastly, I am not yet ready to commit to my full on like gardening era where I do like a full thing in the yard. So for right now, I would love to just have a spot where I could grow some small veggies and some little herbs. And I think we could do that up here. Okay, I think we have our work cut out for us. So let's start with a little cleanup. This isn't gonna work. Okay, I think this is as good as we're gonna get it. This carpet out here is just unfortunately quite old and stained. And while my original intention was to take it up because I thought there might be wood underneath, turns out it is just metal sheeting that is the roof of the garage. So it's not a better option to remove the carpet. <laughs> Dealing with unsightly elements of a space that you can't change and coming up with creative solves is something we talk about in our ultimate room makeover course. Check out the link in our description for more information on that. So sorry, friends. The wind got you. Good morning, guys. Um, I am frustrated today. <laughs> I was browsing Marketplace last night just to see what patio furniture is out there because we're gonna need some for this space. And I found these chairs. They're sick. They're like vintage 60s hoop wicker chairs. And this woman's selling two of them. So I messaged her and I'm like, hey, are these available? And she said yes right away. I was stoked. So then I said, when can I come? I followed up three times since she keeps leaving me on red. Like she's literally reading my messages but not answering me. So I don't know what's going on there. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pivot to something that I do have control over and that is building myself a table. So I've had this like salvaged tabletop in my possession literally since our last home and I always wanted to make an outdoor bar with it because it is made of mango wood, which if you don't know, mango wood is super water resistant and it's great for outdoor furniture. It's been sitting in our garage ever since we moved. I haven't looked at it since, but I have a vision to use that as my outdoor tabletop. So this is it. It uh, definitely looks a little worse for wear what I remember it being like, but I have confidence that we can clean it up and get it looking beautiful again. I also have some leftover tile from when we tiled the floor where our fireplace is. I think I'm gonna use that to make some sweet tiled legs. But before we can even talk about tiling anything, we need like a base to tile onto. So let's start with that. So the legs of this table are gonna be comprised of two wood pedestals that I'll then cover with tile.
To build these, I'm cutting down four rectangular pieces for each table leg out of half inch plywood. Each piece is gonna be as tall as I want the table to be and as wide as my tile pieces are. Then I'm screwing these pieces together to form a box. When it eventually comes time to attach the tabletop to these legs, I'll be using these corner braces. I've already gone ahead and notched out a little bit of the wood on each side of the box at the top so that the brace can sit flush with the rest of the box for maximum support and stability. Hey, not bad. It's pretty good, nice and tall. Bar height, oh yeah. Nice, thank you. Well, looks good. <laughs> It would seem I've run into a problem. <laughs> I went ahead and just made the legs for my table to be like bar table height, which is like the tallest standard height for tables. Cause I thought just like a bar table outside feels right. Right? Nice and tall. Bar height, oh yeah. But then I realized I don't have enough tile to cover the height of both of these legs. And that's not gonna look good. So we're gonna have to do some, uh, some rejigging here. I believe that countertop height is kind of the next step down when talking about table heights. So what is countertop height? 36 inches. I think, I think that should work. So I know that you are not supposed to tile directly onto wood, but since this is an outdoor piece, this tile is purely decorative and not going to be stood on, I'm kind of throwing the rules out the window with this one. But if you would like to know exactly how you should lay this tile inside so it holds up really well over time, go watch the video where I tiled my floor for my fireplace. I'm using this exact tile, but I did it with a few more steps. I got the extra sticky stuff, it's really sticky. So I've made it fully around the bottom two thirds of this one and then got the one side down on the other one but I've run out of adhesive so I think I'm gonna put a pause on this for today. It seems the adhesive is sticking really well but just to be safe, I'm gonna wrap the tile on this one with some tape just to hold it together so no pieces decide they wanna fall off randomly overnight. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back again working on the table. I'm gonna finish up the legs and also clean up that tabletop. So we can get this thing assembled. But in the meantime, I have some very exciting packages from Best Buy that just arrived and I wanna share them with you. So I know that we all know that Best Buy is like the place to go if you need any sort of technology, but did you also know they carry so many products in other categories, especially when it comes to outdoor patio season? They've got you covered for patio furniture, anything for outdoor cooking and outdoor heating, which I know us in Canada like to extend patio season for as long as we can into the fall. So speaking of outdoor cooking, I am so excited by this. This is an outdoor pizza oven and it is something that Austin and I have been thinking about investing in for such a long time. So I'm gonna go hide this in the garage. We'll save this for a reveal at the end when the patio is finished. Do not go anywhere because I know the reaction is gonna be good. But in the meantime, there is something we can and should unbox because I have been DIYing in silence for far too long because we did not have a good outdoor speaker. This is the Sonos Move. It's portable and water resistant, which makes it a great option for an outdoor speaker. Plus, I think it just looks beautiful. Oh yes, she is stunning. Let's get her going. Oh no. 
<laughs> um, terrazzo it is. <laughs> All right, this is the grout. It's in the color linen. I kind of just guessed at the store, but I think it's going to look nice with the terracotta. They're huge grout lines, but I think it's gonna work. It's part of the look, you know? Can be here. Pizza. That looks pretty good. Wow, it's like uh, looks like they're big bricks. Yeah. Okay, I think we we earned that pizza. Yay, pizza! <laughs> oh, yo, I got jalapeno poppers too. You ordered them? Yeah. Got the za. Pizza. But they forgot our poppers. They forgot the jalapeno poppers. <laughs> so that's just how today is gonna go. Okay, hey. <sniffs> Big hair day today, but we're gonna go thrifting. I also have uh, an update to my chair story. No, I've still been left on red and it still breaks my heart, but a new bombshell has entered the building. Is that even how that sound goes? I found two new chairs that I think are gonna work just as well. They are not as vintage, but they are beautiful. So we'll also pick those up today. Okay, let's go. <laughs> um, all I see is when I see myself like this today, especially with the shirt on is someone who's in an 80s hair metal band. <laughs> I don't know if I hate that, or I think that's the best thing ever. <laughs> I think I just found the matching pillow, which like never happens at the thrift store. A whole different aisle over. What a win, what a win. Okay, so this is just in like the random fabric aisle of the thrift store, but imagine this. As like a table runner. Because it has the nicest edge and it's like a thick linen weave. I don't know if it's big enough, but it's very cool. I think this is a pillowcase. I don't know, but the print on it is really cool. Okay, I am back home now and Today has just been such an insanely good day for thrifting. I just found the best things and I think I got all my furniture basically covered that's still owing and a bunch of really fun stuff to style the place. So let's just talk about chairs because do I have chairs, okay? <laughs> Look at her. Oh my gosh, she's stunning and she, Oh, she's so comfortable. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is so good. And not only do I have one of those, we have a set. Thank you, Marketplace. But wait, there is more. <laughs> I found these bar stools while out thrifting, 30 bucks a chair, which is not bad. I really liked this star detail at the top. It was just something different that I haven't really seen a lot. And then this seat is perfect for outdoor use because it's not gonna collect water, which is amazing. Let's regroup tomorrow. I'll give you the small things haul then and we'll talk about what's still left to be done. Okay, good night.
Good morning. So in the process of building this table, which looks so good by the way, I got way too much sun and way too many bug bites. So I've since learned my lesson and I've outfitted the patio balcony with a few more fun features. I hung up this Floatron bug light behind me, which is gonna keep the bugs over there and away from me. And I put up this gorgeous freestanding patio umbrella that's in this beautiful like rusty brown color, which is really gonna inform the color palette going forward. And while I was on the Best Buy website browsing all of their outdoor options, I came across the coolest product that I just wanna share with you. I didn't even know this existed, but people with small balconies, this is going to change your life. It's a half umbrella meaning you can put it up against a wall and you don't need an entire circle worth of floor space. It's genius. Check it out. I'm gonna link that below. Even though I didn't get it, I'm gonna link it below because it's so cool. So as promised, let's do the haul of the small things from the thrift store. Okay, starting off strong, I got matching bolster pillows in this great print. The reason I love thrifting pillows for outdoor spaces is like, while although these aren't rainproof, I don't mind if they get a little dirty. I'm gonna have to bring them in at night, but for the rest of the time, they're fine to be outside. Because they were what? Six dollars. Not bad. Fun little wooden bucket. I think it might have been a waste can, but I think this will make a great planter. Okay, this, oh my gosh, fun. Ice bucket, perfect for keeping ice outside. It's vintage, made in England. Great brown color, gold trim, double walled. So I think it's actually gonna work pretty well. Okay, speaking of brown plastic, these. <coughs> Wine glasses, they're plastic, so they can be outside. They won't break. $5 for four of them. Okay, I didn't technically need plates since I own plates, but I just really liked these. Three bucks a plate, like a white speckled pottery with a brown trim, which if we're seeing a color theme form, this is it. I found these. I'm pretty sure these are pillowcases, but I don't know, something about this print I just really love this indigo blue like stamp pattern on here. And I thought we were just missing some fun pattern here. So I picked these up. Maybe, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but honestly, look at this. This blue with the subtle little blue that's in this plate, it looks so good together. But well, we can circle back. Do I have a problem? <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Why can't it just be right? Why not? Oh, it's so frustrating. So remember the original plan was bar height table? That was also at the time I was planning for bar height bar stools. But we shortened the table, didn't we? We did, we did that. So we need to shorten the chairs because I still really like them. <laughs> <laughs> no turning back now. Oh my gosh. Actually, perfect. And it's even. For anyone worried that I wouldn't be able to get that stable, me, I was worried about me not being able to get that stable. I did. Perfect. Okay, it is time to pull this space together. So I pulled out all the empty pots from around my house and I'm gonna head out to the garden center to find some plants to fill them with. Not sure what this is but I'm very into his vibe and I think it will be good for that mid-century planter I have kind of just like sprawling out the top a fishbone cactus okay I love this okay let's 
take these home. These planter boxes from Best Buy are made from acacia wood, which is naturally resistant to water and rot, meaning these will hold up season after season. Nice. What pretty do you think? sweet, pretty sturdy. Looks like it's a well-built product. <laughs> okay, lastly, let's talk about lighting because I do want to use this space at night when it is darker out. Now, forever my go-to for outdoor lighting has been string light Edison bulbs. They never do me any wrong, but they've been done before. <laughs> and you know what? There has been such an advancement in your options for outdoor lighting in the last little bit. It is amazing. There were so many options online that I actually went into the store to talk to a blue shirt expert to figure out what would be the best for my space. And here's what we decided on. These are the Amaranth Outdoor Wall Washers by Philips Hue and it is a giant bar light that sits up against a wall and basically shines a light up to illuminate either an entire wall of your house or maybe the side of a fence. I think these are gonna be really cool. And the best part about these is that they are part of the Philips Hue system. So I can operate them entirely remotely through the app. I can change the colors of them. I can set timers on them. Ah! And it can live outside because it's weather safe, which is the coolest part. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! Okay, after many long days, the patio slash porch has been entirely decorated. We are only missing one thing, and that is the surprise reveal of this. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go get Austin. Hey Austin, come see what we got. Yo, it's like a, a pizza oven. Yo, this is the best. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Can't wait to make pizzas. <laughs> Yay. A pizza game's gonna be so strong. I don't have to order pizza anymore. I know. Um, can you help me build it? Yo, that's like kind of your thing? What? Oh, that it's already, was easy. It's already assembled. No way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. It looks like a little spaceship. It is a spaceship. It's going to take you to Flavor Town. <laughs> Take off the Pizzaville. No, can't say Pizzaville. Take off the Pizzaville, TM. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe the total transformation we've given this space in just a few days. We have fully achieved the outdoor dining slash work setup, the cozy seating area, and the mini veggie garden. I am curious though, is this the layout that you would have done with such a long and narrow space? As always, very much looking forward to reading your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. If you're looking for more outdoor makeover inspo, check out this setup that I fully DIY'd in my previous home. It will be linked here in the end. Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome to my walkway. Look how good this looks. It's like, okay, I'm coming home and then I'm like, oh, do I wanna go inside or do I wanna go chill? And then I'm like, nah, I wanna chill. And then I'm like, do I wanna go to the garage or do I wanna really chill? And I'm like, I wanna really chill.